Okay guys, how you doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I told you guys I was gonna get back to it and I am today because I have something special uh, coming on Monday and I need to get this thing up and going. So I am finishing off the rest of the frame today and getting it prepped for the two stages it will, it will have to go through. Number one, uh, I ordered a special surface to cover my screen uh, from the same company we buy our surfaces from and to do a special order and um, also to uh, getting the formula ready for the Immerse um, to basically uh, cover the screen. Alright, so uh, it's going to be a, a, um, a uh, four step process. Whew, man, a four step process in covering the screen is big. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, so let me show you what I got here so far. So I got my screen measured out from here to here. I'm at 180 inches. That's what I got right here. From there, so we got 180 inches. Um, screen is around eight feet high, and from one end to the next, about 156 inches in width. It's pretty big. Um, I use a form of uh, T bracket to for my middle supports. So I got one on this side, and then one on the opposite side, as you can see right here, to give it better support. And the reason why I did it this way because the screws are pretty long. I don't want the screws actually interacting with each other and cancel each other out because they're actually hitting each other. So put this on this side, this on this side. They're barely missing each other by a couple of inches. And over here. I use more heavy brackets. Um, now, I wanted the frame to expand a little wider, so instead of, instead of just uh, fencing it together by extending one piece to the next to the next, I actually went out and just got a wider piece of wood on the ends to extend the screen out a little farther, which is a pretty good idea, if I say so myself. All right, so more T brackets from here to here. This goes all the way to the center for the um, center supports and then the L's basically um, support all the way from the back of the front the back of the screen to the front of the screen there's this is where the L's are now I may put some um, let me show you these brackets I'm gonna get some bigger ones more heavier ones I got one here now you see these brackets right here uh, just to reinforce this, the frame because it is already reinforced it's pretty sturdy but just in case to reinforce it just a little bit more I got these really metal, huge metal brackets. They're bigger than this, so huge brackets. I'm going to be putting them right up in here, in each corner, all the way around, just to add more um, sturdiness to the frame. Now, a few tricks I have to do because I have a radiator right there. Wish I didn't have it there, but I have a radiator there, and because the radiator is there, I can't lay the screen flat against the wall. So. It has some goods, some goods with that. So I say some good uh, sides to that, and I'll tell you why. Because now I have to extend the screen out a little farther. So I had to measure where the radiator is from here to here, where the screen is going to be standing up right there. And I had to go downstairs and cut uh, several pieces of wood. Now the wood is going to be right here I'm gonna be bracketing it to right here okay that's gonna make it a form of a stand for the screen to stand up number one because it's gonna be anchored from the wall from two cables so this will allow me to be able to bypass the radiator and also give more support to the frame when it's standing up and also on top of that right up here I'm gonna put an anchor there and an anchor there and just connect that to the frame itself that allow the frame to stand up and become anchored from the wall. So that's my idea to get it to stand up from the wall. And then where I have it here on the sides, I'm basically going to have this. Sorry, I just guess I'm repeating myself again. I'm going to be putting these all the way across here. Just imagine, if you will, if these were these these right here, what you're seeing right now, is actually standing up like this. So this is how it'll be standing up. All right. So when I lean the screen up, the screen will have a bit of support, you know what I mean, to stand up on its own, but just to make sure that it stays there, I'm just gonna run anchors that are gonna connect to uh, this part of the side of the screen, and it's gonna allow the screen to be to stay up there. Now, just for fun, I decided to build my own stand for 
my center speakers. I'm going to put one nice center speaker up here. I'm going to put it right up here at the top. This is where it's going to sit. And I have the L brackets here and here. So when I make it down, as you can see it from my end, I might get them a little bit longer. I might get the L brackets a little bit longer so they extend a little farther out. But this is the idea I want to give you. So I have the L brackets here. These are going to be locked to the frame. Okay. I'm going to put some support feet at the bottom to cushion it. Right, I'm going to adjust that a little better so at least flat. You can see it's flat right there, right? So I'm going to actually get some long, bigger ones. They're going to extend it out maybe a little farther out that way. Like the bigger L brackets, but these are the small ones. I'm just using for the time being just to give you an idea of what I'm working with here. Now, by doing this, now imagine if you will, I'm going to be allow, allow, it's going to allow me to be able to put my center speaker here. So this is going to be bracket here. Just imagine if the, if the uh, screen is standing up right now. So this is going to be bracket to the back of the screen. I'll have my center speaker here. I'll have a Bluetooth to my equipment over here. And this will allow me to have my center speaker directly traveling through my giant screen without me have to worry about drilling any holes in the wall. I'll have to drill holes in the wall anyway to put the anchors up. But still, you know, it's a pretty cool because it's all attached to the back of the screen. Pretty cool. So this is something I came up with. Pretty cool idea. You know, use it if you want. You know what I mean? If you're building a uh, giant screen such as I am, or even a smaller one, it's a pretty cool idea to have. So I'm going to put some cushions at the bottom. Now just to make sure my neighbors are not interrupted by the sound, I'm going to be getting a piece of soundproof um, um, blanket and I'm going to be covering this area where the speaker is going to be at because I don't want sound traveling over and interrupting my neighbor's peace of mind. But yep, there you go. So this is what I've been working on. Sorry it took me so long guys, just between the orders and running my company and everything else and in my everyday life. I've just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. But now I'm just really getting down to getting it done. Tomorrow uh, the surface comes in from Japan that I ordered and uh, I start working on uh, mixing about probably about a gallon. It's gonna take about a gallon to knock out this screen. So that's basically about it. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the little update on the massive of immerse projection screen can't wait to get it done and you guys know what i went through with the short though projector over there because i literally had to rebuild the, the lamp that came into it uh, for those of you who don't know i'll post it at the bottom um they sent me the lamp and the lamp didn't have the brackets and there's some pieces missing so i had to take apart my old housing and remove the um the old lamp from the old housing and put in the new lamp i had to actually rebuild my own lamp for the projector but so far it's working fantastic so i learned something new okay guys hope you enjoyed the video demonstration i'm going to finish this off and i got a couple more orders downstairs to knock out and i gotta go up there and update the website so hope you guys enjoyed this you all have a good one maybe you can take some ideas from this and design something interesting or better you know what i mean just have a ball with it. okay you guys all have a good one